hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can implement routing in our react js app in a react js app we don't have any way to navigate to different pages let me show you what do i mean by that here you can see this is a react js app and which is running within localhost 3000 port and here we have a simple layout and here we have three navigation home about and contact currently we are at the root path of our app if i want to go to about then you can see that our url has been changed but the content is not changing if i click on contact then we can see that our url has been changed and our page has been refreshed but the content stays the same so whatever url we will give it will display the same result on our app but there are many cases that we don't want this kind of behavior from our app we want it to behave like a normal web app that means when we click on about then we expect to see about page content if we click on contact and url is also suggesting that then we expect to visit contact page right so that is what routing means and that is not available in create react app project by default so we need to get help from another package which is called react router dom and this is the documentation of that package in order to use it we need to first install it to our app and we can do that by using this command so copy it and here is our project which is this one and this is a simple react app which is created by using create react app and here within this components directory i have created these components we have header js component and then we have several pages like about contact and home page component and we are importing header and home page in our app.js file and we are displaying this header and home page and to provide a design i have added some styles in our app.css file okay so this is the basic setup which i have done now to install that first we need to stop the development server and here i can paste that command now hit enter so the react router dom package has been successfully installed in our project and we can see that from our package.json here we can see the react router dom dependency right and now after this home page let's import other pages as well so about page and the contact page and make sure you need to import those things now after saving it we cannot see anything because we need to run the development server by using npm start so now we can see that all these three blocks are present in a same page and we don't want that so to get what we need first we need to wrap our app with a component provided by this react router dom package and that we can do within this index.js here i can import something from react router dom and that something will be browser router and now we need to wrap this app component by using this browser router component now we can save it after wrapping our complete app using this browser router component we can start implementing the actual routing of our app in app.js file now here we need to import few things from react router dom first we need to import route and that we can use after this header here i can provide this route component and within this route component i need to provide the component which i want to display and within this route we need to provide a path for which path we want to display the component which is wrapped within this route component so for home page we want to provide the root path so that's why i have used a slash over here and now after that for about i want to provide a path which will be slash about and i want to display about page for this route and similarly we will have another route and it will be contact now save it now after saving it we have the contact route present in our url and we are seeing the contact page and home page we are not seeing the about page if i go to about then we can see the about and the home 
and if i go to home which is our root path that time we are seeing the home page so we can see that something is working but it's not working as expected because when we see the about or contact that time we supposed to see only the respective component not the home page component right and that is happening because whenever our react router dom checks the route for the path which we have provided in the url that time it checks with the path existing in our app and it matches all the occurrences which are matches with the path and we can definitely see that for about and contact we have this slash present so that's why it's seeing a match for this home page route and for any other route for example about if we are seeing the about then it's find similarity between about and home page as well to get rid of this we need to provide another prop which is exact and we need to make it to true and if we don't provide any value there that means it's set to true now after saving it we can see for contact we are seeing on the contact page for about we are seeing only about content and for home root path we are seeing only home page content right so by providing this exact prop we are telling react router dom to match this exactly when it is present in the url so when we have slash about that time it is not exactly matching with this slash so that's why it is not showing this home page component but now here we have another issue if you notice this refresh icon when i click on this about that time you can see that this page is getting refreshed right but that is not standard of react app we don't want it to get refresh when it gets refreshed that time our app is already losing all the local state we don't want that we want to display different pages without reloading our page so to make changes on that we need to go to this header js and within this header js we have all this navigation and for all of this navigation we are using anchor tag which is okay for a normal html and it is working as it should right now which is reloading the page but we don't want that and we have another component for that from react router dom to exactly achieve that thing and that is by using this link so instead of anchor tag we can use link and instead of this href we will use two so we will link to this path so we need to replace this anchor tag with link for all of our navigation and to work it properly here we need to use this switch component and we need to wrap all our routes within this switch component now save it now after that if i click on about that time we can see that content has been changed but we are not reloading the page so there is no reload happening but our url is being changed and our content is also changing accordingly so now we have achieved standard web app user flow in our react.js app without losing react.js benefits right so i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and let me know by commenting down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and if you are new to my channel then consider subscribing this channel as i have many tutorials on react js react native which will be helpful to you and if you find this tutorial helpful to you then you can share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye